Playing as Sissy level 3 status with our Toxic Blood build. It's very fun. It's Toxic Cloud Bike. I'm going to call it Toxic Blood because it's quite fitting. Because it has blood uh, through Serrated and Toxicity through the Cloud. Just makes sense. The Toxic Blood build. Or oh, Toxic Blood Cloud build. There you go. That works too. Let's jump to the action and highlight this. As Little Face kills Sunny. The least picked character in the whole bloody game. Unfortunate. Who would have thought? With a build that just meant to be hearing. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Let's we'll jump to the action. Probably no DCs. Yep. Pretty good. Noise is happening already. That is real quick. Turn that on. Yeah, some of the maps have out of the map glitches, which is just... It's kind of interesting if you do it once. Randomly just see what's out there. After that, it's just kind of boring. <laughs> so, don't do it. Pretty much that's how it works. Is this victim? No, this is not a victim. This is family gameplay. So, we're playing as Sissy, which is one of the family members, which has poison abilities. And with the kid that we explained earlier, through the build um, aspects, it's very strong. That's for sure. On that, Slaughterhouse can be kind of tedious because obviously it's a larger map. Uh, it takes a while, while to actually get there, as you can see. But hopefully, once we get there, we can start the carnage, and hopefully, they have inside a fuse box or valve that in that time. Because they do have a Connie player, so there's a possibility that's actually occurring already. Fuse box is not here. Players are opening doors down there still. No valve spawn here. I'm going to poison this with Herbalist. Deny the items. You know those two? I won't go to that side of the map because that is kind of a dead zone. Not many players know about that well enough to actually go there. Poison this two. So I was getting burst up right underneath me. Yep, I can see that. Get another charge here too. My teammate actually got a kill in the basement. Nice to see. One of them died. Get that as well. Poison this. Go through this gap. I'm trying to make sure all the items are denied. And with Herbalist, I don't lose my charges, as you can see. They stay pretty much on there the whole time. And Connie's out of the game, which means that we have an easy win here. Johnny's down there in the basement. Oh my god, we got a party in the basement. Let's join into action. Let's join in the action. I was going to spend my time denying items, but at this point, I'm not going to do that. We need to make sure we apply a poison too. This play might die to the uh, low face combo. That door slam might get us here. That was unfortunate. I even guessed it too. Oh, the teabag! <laughs> My god. You know what? She's just going for her infinite. Poisoned? Nice. For the red indicator, it should be poisoned. There's no way. Levez, okay, get it. Levez, get it. I'll try to give him spacing. So he can actually go full, uh, full sprint. I might go above him right now and try to cause some havoc up top. Johnny's getting killed here too, on Julie. There's no way this is still happening. Poison again. She won't bleed enough uh, from just the poison duration. Let's see if Pulsar right on her. Get the kill, get the kill. Nice, that's so good. Poison is still lingering on there. Poison the victim. That's so perfect. She's going above. We're open the door. Go. Go. All yours. All yours. Go for it. Go for it. Try to help my team get the kills because he's our pressure. Run through a gap here. Through that gap too. I knew she was going to do that. I knew it. 
That's the problem with that character. She's going to keep going through that way. Don't want to bother. What's over there? So I was hoping a fuse box. The only reason you'd be there is a, a tool station. Got you. You can't do the mask quick enough. Yeah, you can do it. Nice. And instead of me going there, what I'm going to do is actually stay here. Go into this area and collect my uh, herbalist charge. To put more poison towards them. Because we know they're going to go for this. It's the opportunity to make a big play here. Is this play here. So poison this. Delay that as long as possible. Go check these bushes because I feel like Leland will be camping them. Oh, I thought that was him right there. Surprisingly not here. We've got around 40 seconds left on that uh, Toxic Clown. So we'll get another charge over here. We have other charges here to utilize. Actually empty on all these stations. That is really bad. See, this is the problem with this map. It barely has any stations. They're so far. Like, they're actually in the next compartments. I hate Slaughterhouse for this. And also, the family focus ability can actually provide you information in situations like that, where a player is far away, and you can actually use your family focus ability to see where they are, where they're making sounds. It's kind of dirty. And then you can delegate the information, because you're the one seeing it, to your team. Well, it's a Twitch troller. Welcome, Will. This is how you're on your build right now. 17. It was a feral. They have high endurance at 50, and also attack speed, which is really nice. This game is taking a while. Little face is getting some kills here, which is really nice. I need to find where this guy went. I think Anna went down there somewhere, but no point. I'm going to deal with Leland, because I think my ability is off cooldown. Right there. Interesting. Found you? See, I told you. I told you. Poison, enjoy the damage. What if he bleeds out from that? Has he taken any hits at all? Drop to well. I know well he's going to go to too. So we go down straight to the basement. Look at that poison duration. Give me all that information. Where his location is. He has toughness at pretty high interval. He's able to recover pretty quickly. Nice stun. That was his only chance. So his stun just came up, which is so lucky. He has a quick recharge build at level 3. That's the way you get that stun up in time. Nice. And there you go. Another kill. Well done. This just shows how to pressure the game more than anything. I want to showcase my build, but... Jeez, I can't even do it. This map sucks for it. Now, the last play is Anna, and she was on the right side of the map. Which she could go on for any objective here. The only objective she really has here is try and play a Val uh, Valve game. So the Valve didn't spawn here. So she wouldn't have went for Valve. They are still close. So it's not here. There you go. Found her. I saw her for a split second. Where's she going though? She has nothing there. Valve's still here. Fuse box is still there. There's no Valve location there. She's making a dead play. Found you. I knew it. She's pretty much dead. I don't know what she's doing. Like, she has no chance of survival now. I just have to chase her. And with my max endurance, it should be quite easy. The only time it's going to work against me is when she hits me. Now, a little face in the basement. Oh, she actually went through the crack. Nice. She used her ability then. She thought maybe she was going to die to a little face. So I just chase her now. She's pretty much dead. Good showcase of the family's own mentals and how to pressure more aggressive victims. I think that is maybe the title of the video now. <laughs> That's a great uh, title as well. I like it. Now the door slam is not going to happen here. She was going to go for aggressive door slam. She's comfortable against one player. But other than that, she can't. Johnny's playing pressure there, which is not good for him. I should be doing that. There we go. There we go. Now the player could die if Johnny gets around the corner in time. Because what she's going to do, she's going to be behind me straight away. Now Johnny get the kill. Get the, Johnny get the kill. Johnny get the kill. Am I body blocking the entry? 
Oh, she made it through. She faced it. Damn, I was hoping I would be body blocking. Johnny's there, though. Johnny's there. That's one here. That's most likely a right here, too. Now, from there, I just go around here. Close this corner. Oh, there we go. Done. Easy game. Dying. Guess what? After all that, after all that chasing, enjoy this. Enjoy this. The sissy tea bag. The sissy tea bag. Because we can. <laughs> GG's, GG's. My god. That was a fun showcase. And this is a good way to actually highlight how to pressure the map against victims that are being more aggressive. And also how to use the understanding of the family to your advantage through all those little components that we showcased. Through using a family focus build to understand sound and have indicates delegate the information to your team. How to rotate between the map, especially on Slaughterhouse being one of the biggest maps in the game. For killers, it's usually the worst map. But as you can see, a 4K by the team. Great stuff. Love to see in action. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordy at GameSubs, 10% off, and also BTLMerch.com. Get yourself a hoodie, show the support. Greatly appreciated.